Today's math class was very interesting, isn't it? Dad, we would like to hear more about mathematics. Would you tell us? Of course, it's a time for us to go for a journey into the world of mathematics. I have heard that from 3000 BC, the Mesopotamian states, together with ancient Egypt, began using arithmetic, algebra, and geometry for purposes of taxation, commerce, trade, and in the field of astronomy and to record time or formulate calendars. The most ancient mathematical texts available are from Mesopotamia and Egypt. Now let us discuss more things about number system. The natural or the counting numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. There are infinitely many natural numbers. The set of natural numbers is sometimes written in for short. The whole number are the natural number together with zero. Integers are the set of real numbers consisting of the natural numbers, their additive inverses and zero. The sum, product and differences of any two integers is also an integer. But this is not true for division. The rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed as ratio between two integers. The set of rational numbers is closed under all four basic operations. That is, given any two rational numbers, their sum, difference, product and quotient is also rational number. As long as we do not divide by zero. An irrational number is a number that cannot be written as a ratio or fraction. In decimal form, it never ends or repeats. The square root of 2 is an irrational number meaning its decimal equivalent goes on forever with no repeating pattern. The real number is a set of numbers containing all the rational numbers and all the irrational numbers. The real numbers are all numbers on the number line. Here is a flowchart of number system. Here are few great mathematicians. Aribata gave the formula a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Further, he worked on the place value system using letters to signify numbers and stating qualities. Introduction of zero to mathematics, which stood for nothing, was the biggest contribution of Brahmagupta. He also explained how to find the cube and cube root of an integer and gave rules facilitating the computations of squares and square roots. Srinivas Ramanuja was one of India's greatest mathematical genius. He made substantial contribution to Harley Ramanuja Littlewood Circle Method in number theory and worked on elliptical functions, continued fractions, partial sums, product of hypergeometrical series and infinity series. How was the journey? Did you like it? It was very interesting. Guys, now it's time for the science class. Bye. See you again.